So a sinner gets healed. How? Because they get in the presence of God. A sinner gets in the presence of God and they can be healed. This is why it's important that you understand that there's power in this. There's power in this anointing here. The, the, now, the oil is set aside. There's no power in the oil like, send me a $1,000 and I'll send you a bottle of this anointed oil. <laughs> Drink this miracle water. And it's done my bath, old bath water. Fill that other one up there. We can send that out. No, the power is on obedience, knowing that this has been set aside to typify God's anointing. It's a point of contact, and it's powerful. And when Jesus sent people out, he sent them out, and he sent them out to anoint with oil. They didn't just pray over people. They anointed them with oil. They had no covenant with God. They had no position with God. But the oil would bring them in God's presence. That Jesus would heal them. Oh, yeah. Well, let me read it to you. I got to read the scripture here. I got to hurry up. Is this all right? Uh, Mark chapter 6. Go there real quick. Mark chapter 6, verse number 12 and 13. See, everyone should have anointing oil in their house. I got oil all over the place. You know, I had someone tell me, you need to buy a gun in your house. Someone comes in your house, you just poof, poof, shoot three times. And then look, it's like, I killed the mailman. Oh, my gosh. I don't got a gun in my house, but I do got a lot of anointed oil. Amen? Amen? I'm not telling you not to defend yourself. I'd probably take the oil out. What you doing? Jesus ain't whoosh, get in his eyes. <laughs> ah, you blinded me. Jesus' name, Jesus' name, I smear you. <laughs> I, you know, I could do like Brother Daniel. Brother Daniel has taken the oil, anointed all of his guns. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you after church, you're going to be anointing your guns. Mark chapter 6, verse number 12, please, and 13. And they went out, watch this, and preach that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. They used oil when they prayed. They used oil. Because the oil facilitated the anointing. Now watch this here. Oh, Jesus, help me. In Acts chapter 10 here, this, this is what you have to understand. The sinner does not have the privilege of being in the right position. They're blind because of sin. They're in control of the power of sin. And they live in the presence of sin. So, it's an oxymoron. They're never going to be able to get in the right position. So God extends mercy and says, I'll let you experience my presence to get you to come into position. I'm going to say it again. I'll let you experience presence to get into position. So they went around preaching the gospel. Repent, repent, repent. They're like, repent? Who do you think you tell me repent? What were they saying? They were saying, you ain't in position. You're not in position. You're not in position. You're not in position. Repent. You're not in position. Repent. You're not in position. And people that were honest, yeah, I'm not in position. I'm messed up. Oh, yeah, I got this going on. Oh, I got that going on. And then, and then the apostles say, it's all right. Come over here. I'm going to anoint you. You're not in position, but I'm going to bring presence to you. And I'm going to cast the devil out. 
devil. How are you going to call me a devil? I ain't calling you a devil, but that attitude that keeps jumping on you, that's a devil that's been on you. That thing you've been struggling with, that's a devil that's on you. And they would anoint, and they were casting out devils. And what happened? People were getting in his presence. Not in position, but they were getting in his presence. Presence, presence, presence. Jesus had this big crowd of people and his fame. Everywhere he goes, people were following him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They were all in presence, not position. It was not until the day of Pentecost where people were going to go up into an upper room and all of the people that were in presence, that day they were born again and they got into position. Woo, I'm going to buy my own tape. 